Welcome to episode 28 of the GB Cast, my podcast, where I talk about a variety of things, mostly gaming, entertainment based. And at first, when I brought back this uh, podcast, it was intended to be bi weekly, like once every two weeks, but it seems like I'm putting out one a week now, but that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, I had this idea the other night and. It also coincided with uh, this report from Sony confirming that the PlayStation 2 has officially sold over 160 million consoles, making it the best-selling console of all time. That is crazy. And uh, I did ask the question to Jeff Keighley, like, hey, does that mean I can still buy a PS2? I mean, I know I can't still buy a PS2, but it is fascinating that they put that information out there they being sony implying that people are still purchasing the console but in order for them to have 160 million units doesn't that mean that they have to be still making units out there for the record if they brought back like limited edition ps2 consoles i would totally try to buy one try being the key word but that led me to this uh topic my first games but we'll start off with the ps2 And I'm going to then go backwards in time and then cut myself off somewhere in the 90s. Yes, I'm ancient. But I also want to know some of your first games that you ever played and what consoles did you play it on, whether it's like a current gen, last gen, or last, last gen, or last, last, last gen, PC, handheld, smartphone, arcade even. Feel free to let me know some of your first games below in the comment section. So, some of my first uh, PlayStation 2 games was uh, GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas, Ace Combat 4, Shattered Skies, Bully, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Medal of Honor Frontline, as well as Final Fantasy X. Now, obviously those games didn't come out at the uh, same time, but those are the ones that I remember off the top of my head when I think about uh, my PS2, which was my first official PlayStation console. Yes, I have played on the original PlayStation back in high school with friends, and I've talked about it a few times. We used to take turns playing the original Grand Theft Auto on one of my friends' PS1s back in the day, which is why I'm a Grand Theft Auto fan today. But let's go much further back down the timeline (laughs) to when I was a kid in the 80s and 90s and talk about some of the games that I used to play back in the day. And the reason why I titled this My First Games is because I I couldn't just make it my first game, singular, because I I couldn't help myself. I wrote down a whole bunch of games from various uh, consoles, and uh, including two or three on PC. So let's start off with the very first console I ever played on. Uh, It was my Papaws in television. It might have been my uncles in television. I, I never really asked that question, but my grandfather loved gaming even though you know obviously he was from an older generation the great generation world war ii uh flyboy went on to uh, have his own business and uh so i i guess it was his in television but uh, he used to play a whole bunch of games on there with me uh biplanes was his favorite because he was a fighter pilot and he loved planes and so do i and he would always stomp me at biplanes uh, there's other games i love playing on the in television Astro Smash, Night Stalker, Tron Deadly Discs, Major League Baseball, NFL Football, Basketball. I think basketball was the one I was the best at. I was really good at the uh, basketball game. Uh, there were some racing games that we used to play. And uh, my, my personal favorite, probably from the Intellivision era, actually several of these I really do like, but my personal favorite is Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. I don't remember exactly which one. But it was the very first game I ever beat. So I actually beat Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. And my grandfather actually gave me an Intellivision because he had like two or three of them. <laughs> I don't know why he had so many. But uh, yeah, Intellivision did lose the uh, first console war versus the Atari. But it was still a pretty solid uh, console by Mattel. But I remember that being my first official console, the uh, Intellivision. And I was so excited when the Amico or the Amico was going to come out and that never happened and ironically in television got bought by Atari what a few months ago I meant to cover it but I, I didn't get around to it so in the end Atari yeah they won the first console war absolutely 
And buying in television is basically rubbing salt in the wound for those of us that love the Intellivision. But there's also some great games on the Atari. So the next console I want to talk about was the uh, original Nintendo, the NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, my dad and my stepmom got my stepsister and me this console, the NES, back in the 80s on our small black and white TV that my sister and I used to play and fight over. <laughs> we used to fight so much in order to take turns playing on our black and white TV for the NES. Uh, the games we liked to play was uh, Super Mario Brothers along with Duck Hunt. I believe they came together. There was like another package where you could get Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and uh, with the uh, triathlon game, but we didn't have that. But we had Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. And I guess Super Mario Brothers was the second game I officially ever beat. My sister actually beat me before uh, I was able to beat it. So she beat Super Mario Brothers 1 like a month or so before I finally managed to get to the final Bowser and defeat him and save the princess. That was embarrassing. But we used to love playing Duck Hunt and we'd get pissed at the uh, dog anytime we, we would miss killing the ducks. And the, the laser gun was so innovative for its time. I mean, you could point the laser gun at the screen and shoot the ducks. And that's just something that I'm surprised we haven't gotten more of when it comes to uh, gaming. But uh, that, that was very innovative, the laser gun. I don't remember exactly what it was called. But there's a few other games that I loved playing on the original NES, such as the very first Legend of Zelda, because I'm a huge Zelda fan. And then the sequels to Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, which I feel is underrated. I like Super Mario Brothers 2. I know that's not the original version of Super Mario Brothers 2, but I like it. And I remember how excited I got seeing TV commercials for Super Mario Brothers 3. My granny actually bought me Super Mario Brothers 3, and that was awesome. And I think that's probably my favorite NES game is Super Mario Brothers 3. Plus, I loved Mega Man 2 and uh, Tech Mobile. Tech Mobile was great. I loved Tech Mobile. And then uh, my best friend at the time also had a Sega Master. So whenever I went over to his house for like sleepovers, we used to play some of his Sega Master games. And the two that I remember the most is us taking turns playing Afterburner, which was a cool fighter jet game. Uh, kind of like Top Gun. I think Top Gun had a game too on the NES and Super Nintendo. I played that as well, but... My friend and I played a lot of Afterburners back in the day, and we got really good at Double Dragons, where we'd actually get all the way to the final boss, and then we'd have to fight each other over the girl. And so you basically become your own final boss if, if you manage to beat the game with uh, both players. So that was, that was awesome when we were able to do that. And then we moved forward with the Super Nintendo. I know for a fact we weren't able to get the Super Nintendo right away, because it was at least a year or two after it came out when we were finally able to get the Super Nintendo. And there were some great games on the uh, original Super Nintendo, the NES. Uh, Super Mario World, I love Super Mario World, uh, Mario Kart. Uh, the Mortal Kombat started off as arcade games, and I, I guess Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, in my mind, will always be remembered uh, as the arcade versions. But I did end up getting them on uh, the, NES, the Super NES as well. And then Doom, like Doom was like, that was a game you would not expect on an NES. It, it was so controversial back in the day, just like the Mortal Kombat games, because there was all blood and gore and demons and evil music. But Doom was so good. And I know I don't really play FPSs on my channel. And that was probably one of the most popular FPSs back in the day, like Doom, along with uh, Wolfenstein in the early days. But I have another FPS I'll talk about in just a few. So yeah, I love the Super Nintendo. I mean, I felt like it was like like leaps ahead of its time from the NES because the NES would sometimes like after you played it for a while it would overheat and you had to take the cartridge out. You'd have to blow in it and put it back in. Apparently, blowing into the cartridge doesn't work, but it seemed to work fine for me back in the day. Oh, and uh, speaking of uh, popular uh, Super Nintendo games, uh, Donkey Kong Country that just popped in off the top of my head. I loved Donkey Kong Country by Rare best known now for Sea of Thieves, but back in the day, they made Donkey Kong Country. And the final boss fight against uh, Captain K. Roll, or King K. Roll. He was King K. Roll in the first game, but it was aboard a pirate ship. You know, I guess that worked out, right? Pirate ships to Sea of Thieves. 
But like that boss battle between Donkey Kong and uh, King K. Roll just freaking slaps. And also the the airships in uh, Super Mario Brothers three that that theme also slaps. There's some really good themes, and of course the most iconic theme is the Legend of Zelda theme. So yeah, those are some of the memories I have for Super N Nintendo. And then let's go over to arcades, right? Because I did mention Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. I did play all three on arcades. And yeah, rip quarters. I lost so many quarters playing arcade games. Not just like Mortal Kombat, but also uh, what you know, Pac-Man. We played some original Pac-Man back in the day. I think Mrs. Pac-Man, some Pong, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. I loved that game back in the day. That game was amazing. And then eventually it ended up on the NES. I forgot to include that in the NES. But uh, I guess I'm just going by what I remember most fondly about these games. And it's the arcade versions that I think of when I think of Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. And uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. But I love playing those on the arcade. As well as NBA Jam. I loved NBA Jam. I forgot which console I ended up getting it for. Was it the N64? It might have been the N64. But... I think it was at its best on arcade, just like several of these other games. Yeah, I love playing NBA Jam back in the day. That was like during the time of like Jordan and the Bulls and then eventually uh, the Rockets, the Spurs. You know, that that was when I used to watch basketball back then. And then there was a really good Terminator 2 arcade game. It was like a rail shooter, but it was so good. Like it, it was awesome. I loved playing that. And yeah, I, I don't know how many quarters I lost playing all these arcade games and the ones I, I didn't even mention. But yeah, I'm sure it was a small fortune in, our, in quarters that went bye-bye. And finally, let's talk about PC because we got to cut this off somewhere. I can't just keep going. I, I wish I could, but I'm trying to think of my first games that I played back in the 80s and 90s. So some of the first PC games I remember playing is in school. You know, they were teaching us how to use, I think it was the Apple II computer yeah, the Apple II, that, that thing is freaking ancient. And like the stuff we learned on the Apple II, I don't even think I use on modern day computers. Maybe I do and I don't realize it. But there were a few games we could play on the Apple II. But my favorite was easily Oregon Trail. Anytime they let us play Oregon Trail, it was so much fun. I loved Oregon Trail so much so that I, I bought a, a version of the game years ago on my smartphone. I also bought Oregon Trail about a year ago or two years ago for the Switch. I did at least two Oregon Trail streams on the Switch because I absolutely loved Oregon Trail back in the day. And then a couple Star Wars games, right? Let's wrap it up with some Star Wars. Dark Forces. Now, some of you may be aware of the fact that I did do a Star Wars remaster playthrough a few months ago on the channel because the remaster of the game came out at around the beginning of uh, uh, 2024, 2024. And uh, that brought me back, right? Because I, I loved playing Dark Forces back in the day on my PC. I think it was my uncle's PC, and he got a new PC, and so he gave it to me. So shout out to my Uncle Rob from back in the day for hooking me up with his old PC. So I was able to play Dark Forces. And he also had a, a flight uh, wheel uh, for Flight Sim back in the day. And eventually I'm going to get Flight Sim 2024, but it's had issues the past uh, what week <laughs> since launch. But I remember him giving me his uh, his flying wheel or steering wheel or whatever. But uh, I used that for TIE Fighter, another Star Wars game. I absolutely loved playing on that PC back in the day. And, yeah, there were several other PC games I played as well. And we could keep going, right, with N64 games. I mentioned a few PS2 games. I could talk about Xbox 360 games. And before I OD on nostalgia, I think I'm just going to uh, wrap this one up for now. But anyways, there's some of the uh, first games I ever played. You know, some of the, my favorite, I guess, PS2 games. Since, you know, that was the, the opening topic of discussion. Going back to television, NES, Sega Master, Super Nintendo, arcade games, PC games from the 90s. Now I want to know about some of your first games that you fondly remember playing. As well as what platforms you were playing them on. Whether it's PC, like current gen, last gen are much further back generation wise when it comes to consoles or maybe on your smartphone or arcades feel free and let me know about some of your favorite first games that you ever played below in the comments section